Yo, what's up, my peoples? Welcome back to the Black History Month. This is actually going to be the finals of the tournament. So the Black History Month UFC 5 Tournament Finals. It is going down. So this is going to be different from the last ones. I'm going to edit this and give you guys that clear-cut winner in this. There's been a lot of things going down. I want to apologize in a way, but some know this channel. I cover a lot of things from WWE. WWE is having a lot of stuff going down right now. There's been a lot of WWE 2K content. I'm trying to get back to Madden as well, uh, doing my career and finishing up my franchise, return to my franchise. So, And there's other little games as well. Maybe I, I was considering some FIFA, some NHL, that I haven't covered as much as I plan on doing. So let's get to it. So... Woodley and Cormier, we're going to get to this one. I am going to be playing as Cormier in this one. Hopefully, I don't lose it. As you guys know, there's no guarantee I'm going to win. Let's get to it. As always, I'm not going to commentate. I'm going to let the game commentate. And I hope I'm going to talk to you guys after the match is over. Let's get it. Yeet! Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion. The former UFC heavyweight champion. And the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Daniel D.C. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Yeah. So three rounder for the UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier here tonight. So figures to be able to really put it all together over 15 minutes. You'll probably see north of 10 takedown attempts. The question is, will he be able to get this particular foe to the ground? Yeah. How good is this act? Knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Daniel D.C. Cormier. Yeah, great knockout from Daniel Cormier and Ty on Tyron Woodley. Uh, it just seemed like Cormier just had the, the heavy hands. He was good to go. Tyron Willie, he had a he had a solid chin. He was taking those shots, but he wasn't putting up a fight in that one like he should have been. And he just didn't come to play here for this tournament. So that's gonna lead us to the Jones versus Ali matchup. Let's get it. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Muhammad Ali. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, John Bones. Jones. 
Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go, folks. They have locked the door behind Muhammad Ali and John Jones, two of the consensus greatest in their craft of all time. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out, John. You don't get that. You don't get two guys that are thought of as the greatest of all time, and not many argue with it about it. That is exactly what we get with Jones versus Ali. We get two long strikers inside the octagon trying to settle the age-old question. Is it MMA? Just a nasty leg kick. That one, oh, that's all Jones's eye is closing up now, not good for him. He looks like a fat man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many Ready more of these shots, this Ready. fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Hip into every one of these kicks, and it has taken an effect on his opponent. Strikes are just brutal. Nice transition. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Ali. Now drops inside that close, continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Arm very tight. for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, John Bones Jones! Yeah, you got to give it up to John Jones in that one, yo. It was, he, he kept in it. He deserved to be in the finals. I mean, he beat Muhammad Ali, okay? <laughs> Undefeated, you know what I'm saying? And remains undefeated. So uh, we got to give, uh, yeah, like I said, we got to give it up. But that that matchup, I really thought Ali was was in position to get the ground and pound, and he turns around and gets the submission. Crazy victory. So now that's going to lead us to Tyson versus Cormier. Winner will take on Jones. Let's get it. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Daniel D. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson! 
Ready first. Ready. All right, DC, we'll see what you have for Mike Tyson here tonight. I know you guys have spent some time together, but you'll table that friendship for 25 minutes or fewer here tonight. What I've got for Mike Tyson is a healthy serving of double and single legs because it's all wrestling all the time as Daniel Cormier takes on Mike Tyson. The one thing you got to know is you got to be smart when you're in there with Iron Mike. And the only way to be smart is not to be on your feet. This will be a good fight. Masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single, switched to a high crotch. Submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the floor. Left punch is clean, followed by a rush. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, they're trying to keep shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Oh, big elbow from Cormier. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by DC. Have been there as have the get ups. Stunned, nearly finished, and now quick level change. Now, elbow deep takes it. What a high impact takedown that was. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Under 20 seconds now to go. shot just before the end of the round so now he goes back to the stool wobbly a little bit we'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight all right so let us now check out some of the action in that round dc there was a whole lot of it including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show it was a lot of action it was back and forth action but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. The jab is on point right now. Position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the core position locked in now. He got him! <laughs> well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Daniel DC Cormier. It's kind of funny hearing uh, Daniel Cormier talking about himself, but we're going to be hearing more of it as Daniel Cormier will be going.
to the finals to face uh jones this right here is gonna be a great final i don't think it's gonna make it past the you know the first round to be honest it may be round two uh but if we see everything was like round three the longest thing we went to round two was the longest in the, the quarterfinals but i think right here right now in the finals right now it's gonna be you know quick it's gonna be quick so uh let's go ahead and get to it Comer versus jones hope you guys enjoyed the finale hope you guys enjoyed the matches and um you know the fights so uh let's get to it yeah and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight you know when you've been there and you get back here it's not new there are a lot of things that are familiar but how do you change the result how do you assure that in this time during this chance you ultimately walk away with the championship he's been here before john the team's been here before they are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. John Jones has stepped into the octagon. This time he wants to leave with that championship belt. folks a true renaissance man the future ufc hall of famer daniel cormier so father of two high school wrestling coach two division ufc champion but it wasn't enough to just be in the game now you're commentating your own walk out this season. it's magic it's magic john i am now add magician to my list of accomplishments as i walk to the octagon at the same time calling the walk to the octagon and i must say of all the octagon walks this has to be the best one that I've seen. Look how good looking. He tucks his shirt into his pants. He tucks his pants into his socks. What a fashion statement Daniel Cormier makes as he walks to the octagon. And people who really know you know how much humility there is underneath those 235 plus pounds. But what you have accomplished in mixed martial arts is not going to be duplicated by a lot of individuals. The boxing, catching up to the wrestling. Shout out to Rosendo Sanchez and Javier Mendez, Bob Cook, everybody else. You have really become one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and you put that status on the line yet again here tonight. Thank you, John. You're so sweet. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go, folks. The continuation of the greatest rivalry in MMA history, Daniel Cormier versus John Jones. Tonight, though, it's in the waters at heavyweight. What's the focus for you coming in, Jen? Yeah, just to get after Jones at a more comfortable weight without training to get down to 205. What we have seen from Jones since he is up at heavyweight is a guy that hasn't lost anything. He is as good as he was as a light heavyweight. So in order for DC to get the job done, he has got to be better than he has ever been before. So whoever's holding that controller, and you're playing as me, you better get it done because I never lose to him on this video game. Ha. Jones is cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. 
Cormier going for the takedown, but unable to land. Stiff jab there from John Jones, using his length to great effect. 84 inches the reach from John Jones. That's going to give him an advantage against most light heavyweights, if not heavyweights, on this UFC roster. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long. 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling cards. Cormier gets touched by that kick there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big double leg, double change. Jones's eye is closing up. Hard to win MMA fights. Oh, well, he's setting up for a submission now. Deuce trying to finish the fight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Jones is really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, it has been all Daniel Cormier here tonight, and a lot of past opponents have said this, right? He's just so much stronger than I thought he was going to be, and the physicality of Cormier just leaves him the dance. Yeah, just when, when you can get him close, it causes problems for his opponents based on the fact that you got to respect the wrestling so much that it opens up the strike. And when DC gets his game going in the way that he goes tonight, he can beat anybody in the world. Got that single column time. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. He tries to work it into a takedown. Takedown defense holds up. And now some distance as they pull apart. Jones is tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbit. Not good for Lynn. For the end of round one. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them just really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Jones's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery. Ooh. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Yeah. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Cormier. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but... He didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Cormier goes for the takedown. He misses. Great time on that double leg. Wow, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say our fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that. He set up a beautiful submission. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Big, big shots landed by him now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. When both are prepared, the oh, shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skate. Oh! Well, 
Let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He is really the power. So there's the swing and a miss from him. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Got to stop the fight. Yes, and the doctor will do just that. I know the fans don't like it, but you got to tune out that noise if you are the doctor, the referee, and allow him to fight another day. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO. And new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC. All right, so there he is in all his glory. Daniel Cormier, another UFC win. Never gets old seeing that celebration, my man. I mean, he is beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. They don't relate beauty to the octagon, but that is a beautiful player right there walking. I mean, even the hairline looks about four years younger in the octagon. Keep my character the exact same. And you out there, keep using him and getting him victory. All right, there we have it, our champion for the Black History Month tournament. And a big announcement, Daniel Cormier will also be our official ADG, Rising Sports Games Network, UFC Heavyweight Champion. And there will be more tournaments in the future. This month, we concentrated on heavyweight division. Uh, we're going to be doing some women's uh, women tournament uh, very soon. And we're going to crown a women champion. If you want to... Tell me which division you think I should start on first. You can do it in the comment section. But congratulations to Daniel Cormier winning the Black History Month tournament and becoming our first official UFC ADG Rock Sports Games Network champion. It was kind of cool seeing him um, come up uh, in this. You know, he beat a fight against Woodley, a young guy, a legendary Mike Tyson. And then going into a matchup with someone he has had history with in John Jones. So that was crazy. And um, that fight ended by stoppage. I know some people may not like it, but at least respect the fact that you didn't really have to see Jones go down. Jones did not go down. He's tough as nails. And who knows? Maybe we'll do a rematch uh, between these two for the title when I start doing official events. So, but I want to crown a couple of champions first, and then we'll see about doing an official event, kind of like I did this one. Uh, with you know matches throughout the card but for now we're going to end this thank you guys for watching this it's been great uh the mike tyson i think no i think it was i think yeah i think it was the mike tyson fight him and usman i believe got a lot a lot of people watched that usman and mike tyson fight so thank you guys for that as well uh also thank you guys you've been watching a lot of the e uh ufc 5 is downloading video and i'm just like what why is that video so popular let me know in the comments below why you watch that video if you watch that video what was it about it that made you watch it would you go in there to figure out you know how to download certain dlc or something let me know um but yeah once again congratulations to dan Cormier. thank you guys for watching it's been a great uh month to do this um uh, and for me to do this for black history month was kind of cool and um yeah we got it done we got it in but we're not done. There's plenty of more EA Sports UFC 5 special events coming to the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace.